What would happen in the market for surfboards if a new sport causes surfers to stop surfing and switch sports? So we'll do that effect in yellow, and I'll just go over the top so that it's easier to see. While at the same time, the cost of inputs to make surfboards decreases, and we'll do that in this kind of salmon red. So first, the new sport. So this new sport is causing surfers to stop surfing and switch sports. So that's going to influence the preferences for surfing because less and less people are going to want to surf, they're going to want to do this new sport. So that will lead to a decrease in demand. So demand will shift from this green line that's labeled D to the yellow one that's labeled D prime. And now all that we need to do is go and figure out this red one. So while at the same time, the cost of inputs to make surfboards decreases. So what's going to go ahead and happen here is that it's going to be less costly to make surfboards because the, the inputs are less costly. So supply is going to go ahead and increase. And so that is going to, whoops, that's not salmon, that's white. Here we go. So that will cause supply to increase from this green line labeled S to the red one labeled S prime. And so we are going to go from the intersection of both of the green lines to this new intersection that I will use, what I already used orange, so I'll go ahead and use blue for. And so we're going to be right here at point B. So you can see that quantity will be uncertain, and it's almost exactly the same. And then price will most certainly decrease. So that will be P prime, and we'll say that Q is also the same as Q prime. So we're going to have a decrease in price, and the change in quantity will be uncertain. So that will be down here. The change in quantity is uncertain, and price decreases. And again, that was due to an, a decrease in demand and an increase in supply.